sunshine. What we're going to do today, uh, we had some storm damage here a few weeks ago, and I'm still getting part of it. Right here is the River Hill where I live. There's the road I got to go to to get to the river bottoms. And, and you can see my path is uh, a little bit blocked. We're up pretty, uh, that's up over my head pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna cut it down small enough where I can get it yanked out of the earth tractor, I think. It's a big old white oak. Um, and this property line tree. And I know it's got some metal in it. I know it's got some metal in it because right there's two lag bolts. Uh, but I'm, I was probably still running the metal detector over it. It's, it's been, looks like it might've been struck by lightning. And it was co-dominant, but it's, I'm going to cut it off here and measure me out enough for a log and cut it again and see if I can drag that whole top. Uh, we're going to use the old steel 026 that I've been working on. Uh, the last thing it had done to it, just in case this is out of order, um, we've had the, it's got the offset cylinder in it. Uh, I've reshaped the top of the piston. I dropped a cylinder. I've done the dyno runs on that, and I put a new set of rings in at the same time. I've got a 28-inch bar on this 026. It's too much for it, guys. I know that. I don't care. Uh, I mean, I care, but it's not the point. I'm wanting to put a little bit of pull on it today uh, and start breaking them rings in a little bit better. So you can make fun of saw all you want or tell me I'm oversized or whatever. I put that bar on there for a reason, and the reason is I'm breaking in the rings, and I just want to run it. And so that's what we're doing. So guys, uh, stick around. Guys, if I earn this, uh, give her the old hitchhiker emblem. If I didn't, give her the old Julius Caesar business. If I earn it, uh, might think about subscribing, sticking around. We got us a new camera. We're going to try it out. I like to be able to talk to you guys. Hopefully my audio is a lot better. Hopefully my video is a little better too. But hopefully, for sure, my audio is better. That's, that's what I'm shooting for. You guys can see the mic up here. I probably just made noise with it, but... Guys, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to bring you guys with me on more stuff like this where I'm not real close to the camera. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can get her fired up. I ain't had it fired up in a week or so. And it's still got that, I ain't put that modification on there I've made for that air cleaner yet. And this has a choke that's in the air cleaner. Hate it. Uh, so I got to hold the choke down my thumb because it won't detent. And I don't like starting a saw like this, but it's what we got to do. Still got the high idle turned up from last time whenever I was uh, had her on dyno. Always have the high idle turned all the way up uh, so I can get it on dyno. Let me get that shut back down. And then I can let it sit there and idle at a high idle so it'll cool back off. And I start my dyno run at about 250 degrees. So always leave the idle set up and then I go to put a bar on it. And next thing you know, it wants to cut your leg off. chain is hooched I don't know what the deal is it's on there right almost feels like it's on there backwards let me put a different chain on here guys and then we'll get to cutting it sure ain't doing her very good is it I don't know if there's a piece of metal in that tree or not um like you guys seen I went to cut that little piece heck it didn't even want to bite in there anymore it I ain't got out my glasses I can't see it without my glasses I ain't looked seeing if I got teeth messed up or not yeah, 
I could drag my knuckles across to Mattel for short, but other than that, uh, not so much. And you wonder why I'm measuring it out to cut a log if uh, I ain't even got that cut off. Well, I'll be honest with you, I want to put that thing in the wood and see if it's going to cut. Hopefully I can miss the metal there. We'll cut them up here and cut her just a little bit. See if it's going to cut any better. a moment to advertise here uh any of you guys are just watching this you want to see the build on this 026 there's a whole playlist and we've been doing it one step at a time and dino in every step uh that's in there go check my channel out uh if you're seeing this for the first time all you guys is here all the time man i appreciate you guys being here too um more than more than you know uh some of you even get on my old stuff if i don't put out a video right away um kevin l and old uh, mountain man you still owe me a chicken story too mountain man um <laughs> you guys get in there keep me honest and check on me and i and i do appreciate that because i i know uh i know how it is watching other subscribers or other channels and you don't hear nothing out of them and you've kind of developed a bond with them um even though it's just over ones and zeros over the internet you kind of still develop a bond don't you and, and you actually have a true concern whether they're doing okay when you don't hear out of them uh, so i appreciate you guys being here guys uh come on hang out it's a nice place to be we're trying this new camera don't know how it's going to be hate it right now but we're gonna it's like that blackberry in the middle of the blackberry patch that big old juicy one i don't care how scratched up i get i'm going to get that one berry out of the middle it may fall off as soon as i get up there and put my hand to it but that's how this camera is uh i think it has potential to be good but i hate it right now i hate this thing um guys bear with me <laughs> that's first world problems right there hating your camera probably ought to cut that knot off don't you think uh what i'm thinking about doing is hooking that four-wheel drive john deere onto this and trying to pull this top over that way out of the way uh them little hickories there might hang me up but they might not but i know that dog knot sticking down ain't gonna do me any favors so let's cut that off of course, I guess it could keep chain from slipping off the end, couldn't it? <laughs> oh, we got compression building. just cut that tree down a little bit lower in the bottoms over my head well i just didn't see much need for the undo unnecessary stress of that if i can get this log pulled if i can get this half of it pulled and not have to be under it cutting uh, that seems like the smartest way to me i know some of the guys as professionals well that wouldn't bother them a bit they'd crawl right out there and cut it I'd have some of bars stuck in there. It'd look like a porcupine. Uh, <laughs> Used to do that back when I only had one saw. I did have two bars, though. The reason I had two bars, if I'd stick a power head, that's going to be pulling up on that tracker. We'll try it. If we can break her loose, I like hooking short if I can. Um... 
But yeah, if we'd stick one bar or we'd stick the power head, you just unbolt the pull the side bolts off the side cover, get that bar loose. I still ain't used to these steps on the right hand side of a tractor. That's the most unnatural thing. It's handy, but it's like getting on a horse. You guys that rode horses. I mean the general thing is you get on a horse on this left side, same way with tractors. They're just as temperamental as horses. You get on your tractor on your left hand side, but this one's broke to get on either side. I ain't used to it. It is. It's not broke, but I ain't. Let's give her hell easy. Better put in the front spin. Better mash on the... Oh, I think we're going to got her. Maybe. I'm pulling a little bit of fiber there. I may have to saw that just a little bit more. They're, they're caught up on this butt end. And in order for that log to come this way, it's actually trying to shove this and back that way. I may, uh, may just have to hook onto this in here and just pull it loose first, which ain't no big deal. Uh, let's just do that. Ain't no sense in fighting it, is there? It's too hot to fight. But I could probably hit it a couple times. But that's just more wear and tear on the tractor too. See, there we can just pull her. We can just idle her right out now. See, there you go. Old habits die hard. Get off the left side of the tractor, walk plumb around the right side of the tractor to get my gloves instead of just getting off the right side of the tractor. I ain't used to it. If I ever had a horse you had to get on right-handed, I just, I just well walk. Because I don't think my old mind let me do that. I got a little hickory sprout here. Maybe hold me up a little bit. We may have to do just a little bit of sawing on these little sprouts right here. There's a hickory that's bent plumb over probably four inches on the base. I don't know. Uh, it may have more tension on it than I can stand. And I know I could hook this chain out a little bit different so it'd roll that log some. But I'm not doing that just yet. I may if I have to. But if it'll pull it, I'll pull it and then I'll, I'll be hooked shorter that way. Uh, I'm hooked about as short as I can stand. Put some weight down on the back of that tractor. Oh, we'll get on on the right side. Oh. Hang on, watch me holler if you see something bad. See what we're dragging. She got awful hard to pull. I really think I'm still cut up on that daggum hickory right here, ain't I? I didn't hear you guys holler at me. I think I'm caught on that hickory. Let's cut them out of there. Let's cut these little hickories out here. I wanted to, I'd rather have left them because I'd rather it uh, held that bank. I'll give you guys an idea how steep it is. I'll take about two or three steps down. One, two, three steps, four steps, five steps. And this is just the start of the hill right now. Uh, and it gets steeper and steeper as I go down. Oh, let's cut that hickory off. At least that one is splintered up bad. Oh, 
Starting to breathe hard, the old. Now I got decent lungs, but the old air is moist and heavy. It's about 92 degrees and uh, real feel, whatever you want to call it. Supposed to be about 110 today. I don't know what it is right now. All right, let's hit the old differential lock. Oh, we don't have any differential lock yet. got her pulled down enough I can cut this top up here now without near so much fear of it falling on me I'll cut this piece off we'll have a log here or in fact I may just cut the log right now what do you guys think let's move you guys out here in the sun with me yeah we can get about 11 foot of log to it right out of back there so that's where we're gonna cut it Guys, watch my saw again, would you? Yeah, I had a phone call. It's hot. 90. So I just checked while I was inside. Right here, it's 96.3 degrees and 106 <clears throat> real feel. 95.3, maybe. I don't know. It's hot. Sweated right through the outer shirt pockets. Boo hoo! Poor pitiful me. Makes a guy think about being good on this here life so it ain't so hot like this in the next one. Or way worse. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm getting used to this getting on the right side thing. See if she'll pull. If that stop's doing us bad. I thought it ought to pull it. We think we cut this here limb and that stop off. See what we can do with it. Really ain't much sense tearing up the ground this hillside by clawing and digging is there?
You thought I was going to stick that chain, didn't you? <laughs> so die. <laughs> Give her hell easy. We just got little stuff left here. Uh, we got two chains. I'll just hook them both independent. So hopefully I ain't got to come back and make another trip. Time's money. <laughs> oh, shucks. Now nah, we're not doing production stuff today for sure. We're doing ketchup, ketchup stuff. I might get most of that out. I'll come back here and get the little stuff out, maybe a skid steer and grapple, and pull that uh, get that uh, get them logs out there and stuff with a skid steer. Cut the end off that bad one. See if there's iron in it. Wouldn't be surprised what there's a fence in it. Piece of woven wire fence. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Uh, and we still might see what lumber we can get out of it. It is white oak. Well, ah. all right. I know it's stupid. You don't run around your loader up in the air, but we're gonna. We ain't gonna give her hell easy. We're gonna go nice and slow. I don't know. May make a good. May make a good uh, view. We ain't pulling much weight. We shouldn't get too tippy or nothing. Hopefully, that just sweeps that brush out of there. Ties that down good. I ain't been able to get. I ain't been able to use that road in a good long time. I've been fixing fence in the bottom, so I've been having to walk down over the other hill. Usually, no matter how wet it is, usually I'll still drop. Well, I knocked you off the top of the loader. Hope you didn't break an arm or nothing when you fell down. hot day to do this that ain't no doubt but while it's droughty like this I got to get try to get to the bottom some mow I got about 12 15 acres of hay down there I can usually get it out every year if I hit it just right I got hit it in the drought with the dry last year I got it out twice I'd like to bring you guys down there that's a pretty neat place We'll get this shoved off the side of the road. Ah, oh, we need a higher gear. Really ain't got time for low cogs right now. We gotta get some air moving on us. Even in the shade here, she's just pretty. There ain't no, ain't no uh, air moving. You see the old leaves on the trees just hanging there. And that will take us low cog again. I gotta watch that one, it wants in my tire awful bad. Now we gotta back out of it, get it out of my tire. And get 
for another shed. I think we can get through there, what do you think? We'll clean her up just a little bit more. It's all been logged down in here. Uh, and the old trees ain't used to the wind going the way they are. Get this shoved off the road far enough I can get down here and start uh, getting a baler or getting a rake tractor and, uh, and mowing tractor and uh, baler and rakes and you know all those pewterments. And I know we got one down here we cut in half, but well, unless it's floated out. No, it hadn't floated out yet. I know we cut this in here off whenever we were coming down here fixing fence in the bottom. So we'll get that pushed out. We'll at least get we'll at least get stuff pushed out far enough to uh, get the side by side down here and see what we need to do to work on it. And it may take a day of taking this loader tractor down through there or the other one uh, just before we can even mow. We may get a good start on that in the morning. It's a whole lot better before it turns uh, that cold. There's that hill. It ain't much of a hill, I don't guess. She's, uh, she's steep enough. You might need four-wheel drive to pull anything up. But, and you better grab a lower gear about Let's get the uh, chainsaw stuff loaded up. Let's call her a day. 